This is a video I wanted to do for a long, long time. People always have been asking me, dude, how many shoes do you have? What do you have in your collection? And to be honest with you, I don't have that many shoes if you really compare it to a serious collector. Anyway, I thought it would be a fun idea to do a countdown video or better, a couple of countdown videos because I'm definitely not gonna be able to cover my whole collection in one video. I thought I'd break them up in uh, pairs of 10. So yeah, let's see how many parts of the series I'll be able to produce. And a disclaimer, I'm gonna show you guys every shoe I have actually lying around. That means dress shoes, that means beaters, heaters, rails, that means shoes you might bath when you see them. So yeah, without further ado, let's kick things off with, uh, yeah, maybe the bottom of the barrel. Well, just a pair of fucking Crocs. <laughs> Yes, you're right, Crocs, the dad shoe. You see that gray in my beard? I'm totally on the dad shoe hype, and nothing is more dad shoe than a fucking Croc. Plus, the color ain't that bad, and they're mad comfy. So hate me now, but fuck you haters. Next, to kind of counterbalance this painful start into the video, um, I'm having this little beauty over here. Ta-da, yeah. Uh, you might recognize the box, so I'm going from possibly one of the worst shoes on the planet uh, to one of the most sought after shoes on the planet. Yes, of course, it's the Sean Wotherspoon Air Max 1 and uh, 97 Hybrid. I must say what I really don't love about the resale game is that even if you manage to get a coveted pair of shoes, you don't have the balls to wear them actually. Because I know the resale is so high on these guys that uh, I can't re really warrant rocking them. Yeah, I just feel silly doing that. If, if a certain price has been reached, I really feel it makes more sense to sell them on. But to be honest with you, this is such an iconic shoe. I can't see myself letting go of this. Uh, I just love everything about the shoe, this kind of vintage paper, the corduroy, this kind of hybrid. I mean, it's just beautiful. It's just a very, very beautiful shoe. Let's continue with another uh, Air Max, which is the Air Max 98 in the cone colorway. I think people slept on this colorway, although eventually it sold out. I think it's an absolute great pair, and especially when, when all this kind of blue sunset uh, uh, light floods the sky and it bounces right back off this kind of neon shoes. It's just beautiful, like you basically have to wear eye protection if you want to look at the shoes at, uh, during sunset. Number four is the Nike SB Zoom Elite uh, in the Medicom version. This is one of the most uncomfortable pairs of shoes I have. I really love the, the denim though. I really love this kind of ripped accents. And of course, that these are kind of a reissue of a legendary shoe that goes for a lot of money on StockX helps as well. So unfortunately, I can only rock these in summer. Um, I had to take the sole out, plus I'm wearing them without socks. So this is the only way to make them work for me. So yeah, I really feel when you're reissuing a classic model, make sure you get, the, you get the fit right. So yeah, a bit of a bummer. Then next up is something from Adidas. It's the ZX5000 undefeated and babe colorway. And uh, this shoe really uh, brings back a lot, of, uh, a lot of memories because a good friend of mine, shout out to Alex Hasbis, uh, he visited me in London and we knew the, the um, undefeated babe pack was about to drop. We were like, oh, you know what, we can't be bothered. We're not gonna queue up too much hype. But we ended up being, you know, a bit drunk, uh, going to the basically launch party at the Adidas original store in Soho in London. And we looked at the models and we thought like, oh man, they look, they look kind of clean. Yeah, we ended up queuing up uh, throughout the whole night. Um, it was really fun. We were actually lucky because uh, Babe was releasing uh, the pack as well. And Babe was opening at 11, but the uh, Adidas uh, original stores was opening at 9. It was really funny and satisfying to walk with your bags past the Babe store. Uh, yeah. Pair number six is this Air Force One 
designed by me on Nike.com, you know, Nike by you or Nike ID, how, how it was called back in the days. Yeah, I posted these on my Instagram, I like a mock-up of them, and I, I ended up liking them so much that I uh, got them made. Um, as you know, I'm quite a fan of loud sneakers, so this is a very, very subtle pair for me. I just love this kind of salmon sole, that really makes that sneaker for me, and on top of it, these were one of my first sneaker reviews on my channel, so you can still check this out as well. And uh, yeah, I remember that I got bitten by like a like a bug during filming this, and it hurt as fuck, but I just wanted to wrap up filming, so I just bit my tongue and continued, and I had like a, a flea bite for like at least a month. And uh, yeah, I think, I think there's uh, is still a slight blood stain here somewhere, so yeah. Anyway, check out the review, because as you know now, it was quite heroic and painful. Here's another shoe which I did a review on on my channel. They uh, released a crazy camo pack. Uh, I ordered all three. I just kept that pair. I think it's really good. I'm actually wearing it more than uh, people might think. The only annoying thing is that the laces are really long. I really need to relace this pair. This is just this is just ridiculous. Actually the review of all the different camo humaras became one of my most popular videos on my channel. So you might want to check this review out as well. Shoe number eight is this uh, van high top, which I bought at a sample sale. And to be honest with you, I think I just worn it once. I still really love this kind of fabric look on it and the colors uh, with the leather on top. I think it's really dope. And what I really like is it doesn't really have that kind of uh, let's call it the Vans swoosh on the side. It just cost me 20 bucks or something. So easy, no harm. Number nine is this a Supreme uh, Nike SB94. I picked this bad boy up in 2010 at the Supreme store. The cool thing about it is it's a model Supreme actually designed. So it's, it's not like a, t a Supreme take on an existing Nike model, but it's basically a complete new creation Supreme did with Nike. I really love the materials from this kind of crazy foam posit on the back, leather swooshy on the side and the really nice burgundy uh, red shiny leather all over and these little, uh, little ridges there. There. So I think it's really cool. It has the Supreme uh, on the bottom. Sorry, yeah, as you see, I rocked them a lot. The only thing about this, these shoes were, they were uncomfortable as fuck, nearly unwearable because the heel was really killing you. At the end of the day, I really had to cut off the foam posit that would go extend all the way to the heel. I had to cut off the heel. I put this kind of white lever over it. I know it's not very pretty, but when I'm wearing it with denim over it, uh, you can't really see it. I think still it's a dope shoe. It's a personal favorite of mine, but it doesn't get much love uh, in the sneaker community. So for number 10, let's check out this Adidas shooting star. Back in 2011, Nigo created a whole apparel line for um, Adidas. And as you know, Nigo is really into his vintage stuff. So he did a quite a couple of nice vintage inspired pieces. This shoe is one of them. I think it looks super dope, although it has this kind of zip on the one side for easier access, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but Nigo made it work, to be honest with you. I really love it that it's a model that Nigo actually created for Adidas. I think it's cool, and I actually got a lot of comments rocking these. So although they're a bit subtle and understated, I think people pick up the, the silhouette is something a little bit more special. So my friends, this wraps up this video, the first 10 pairs in my collection. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, leave some comments below what you thought about my selection. I mean, I'm gonna show you the sneakers in no particular order. Subscribe to my channel, of course, because it's awesome. And uh, I see you next time. Take care, bye.